what's up guys i um have just come back from being on holiday and um i'm here to bring you another video and um i've i said as i said before i've finished my transfer frenzy with hashtag fc11 but today as you know yesterday was deadline day so i am reviewing the ins and outs um from the Premier League with all the uh, uh, clubs and um, my um, excitement rating um, for those signings. So, I have 18 signings to talk about. So, as you heard there, that is a lot of um, players to talk about. The, 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 um, one of the players who Man United have signed who I'm just about to talk about now, is Anthony. So, Anthony Santos, um, it was actually, as facts, is the most expensive deadline day player ever and is the most expensive Irividizi pl player ever um, to be sold. So, that price was £86 million, um, And... My excitement rating for that one is a 9 out of 10 because I'm really excited about it. I've seen some videos. He looks proper good player. Um, and I hope um, he will score get a lot of goals and assists. That will really help us to get back in the Champions League. So another time to talk about now, a Liverpool signing um, that was announced quite late yesterday um our tour um is um from juventus a season long loan to liverpool um he um is um i can't remember his age actually but he's quite um good player i think juventus would want rid of him because they've got um a few players options now so they've got rid of him. My excitement rating for that one is um, a five out of ten because I don't really see him exceeding. Um, signing number three now is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. So the window closed um, before this signing was announced. It wasn't. Um, it depends what paperwork was done. So the paperwork they needed to get done got done. So. The, the eventually the deal actually fall through so Pierre Emerick Aubameyang has signed for Chelsea Football Club I think that's a good signing but obviously we do look at some of the problems that could cause Chelsea with um Arsenal got rid of him because of his attitude problems um he got captaincy taken off him because he turned up training late um, turn up the match late so they had to wait for a delay so um he has some attitude problems which could um maybe make a problem but also thomas duke has said he thinks so they basically what we call it is a number nine curse they chelsea have a number nine curse basically and thomas tuchel said in his interview he thinks Aubameyang can um, break that number nine curse um curse so my excitement rating for that one is a seven out of ten and signing number four now another season long line from juventus chelsea uh, also signed another player dennis sicaria the switzerland midfielder um defensive midfielder he um has signed for chelsea on a season long loan and um so um he I think he would be good um to help Chelsea in the middle of the park because they're um looking a bit thin. They've got Kovacic and Jorginho and Kante, but I think they need like a younger player in there which will help them. So my son we're in for that one is a five out of ten. And seeing I am a five now is um I'm about to talk about is Billy Gilmore. My dad will like this because he's a Scotsman, so and Billy Gilmore's Scottish, he's a very good player on the ball. He will literally keep the ball um, and always look to pass forward. He's a brilliant young player and he's signed for Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, 
I think they were good, so I, my excitement rating from that one is a 6 out of 10. So, another time to talk about, I got this one right as well, like a Um James Garner has completed his move from Manchester United to um, Everton, and now um, I think that would be a good signing for them and a good benefit for Man United because he never really played and they got a decent amount of money for him. So I thought um, that would be a good signing for both sides of the thing. I think that's a great deal um, to get done. My summer in for that one is a um, 4 out of 10 because I don't really mind. Um, no signing now is... Um, Daniel James, another season on the loan, on loan from Leeds to Fulham. They've had a good window. Um, he has joined um, for a season-long loan. He's they did a video calling the Danger Man, but like Dan German. <laughs> that was quite cool. I thought, and um, so Daniel James, good threat, pacey, so quick. Um, it's for. Fulham, he'll be doing a good job, so we might sign Ryan for that one as a 7 out of 10. And we now have um, another player, Man United player, who they've signed on the season-long loan again. Um, Martin Dubravka has joined Manchester United on loan from Newcastle. I think that would be good because we need backup because Henderson is gone. I don't think Tom Heaton's... Um, up for it anymore so I think that would be good and I've got two players now to talk about for Aston Villa um they have signed Leandro Dendonka and Jan Ben Arik. so um I think both of them will be good signings um and my excitement ranging for Jan Ben Arik is a um Three out of ten, and um, my excitement rating for Leandro Dengoka is five out of ten. So, um, yep. Yeah, now another um signing. Man City have um confirmed a fifteen million signing for Manuel Akanji from Borussia Dortmund. Um, I don't think he'll start, but I think it's quite a good signing. So my excitement rating for that one also is a um five out of ten. So, an Everton signing here, um, Idrissa Garnagay, he used to be an Everton player, so he's re-signed for Everton because um, PSG wanted him out, so he's signed for Everton, and that deal is done, so I'm going to give that a um, 6 out of 10, that's fair. Um, so, um... Another, my 13th signing I'm going to talk about now is Wesley Fofana. Gone from Leicester to Chelsea. I think that's a good signing. Young centre-back, re- quite really talented to join a Bamiyang with them. Um, so my excitement rating for that one is a um, 6 out of 10. So another one, Leicester have signed. It's the other way around now. They've signed Wout Faze. I've not really ever heard of him. He um used to be he's at, used to be at Rems. Now he's joined Leicester um in pre, a replacement for Wesley Fofana. Um, so I think that um would be a four out of ten signing for me. Um, excitement rating. So fifteen signing I'm going to talk about now is we're coming to the end. So. Another Fulham sign, Lawin Kuzawa from PSG to um, Fulham. He has um, joined um, Fulham to exploit that left back. So I think they know he needed a new left back. It's quite good. And another Fulham signing, um, Carlos Vinicius from Benfica on a permanent deal. Um, he could be good to add their attacking options. And another attacking option they've got now is um, Willian as well. So he has joined um, them on a free transfer. 
and my summer run for that one is a um, 5 out of 10. And the last one I'm going to talk about, which concludes our video, is Alexander Izak. He scored against Liverpool. I think that's a great signing. Great at 63 million, I think it was, or something like that. Um, quite a big um, price tag. The Swedish striker is only 22. So I think that signing would be good. So I'm like, so I'm writing a 7 out of 10. So, guys, I've hoped you like my transfers from all over this window. Um, I will, I think I'll do one next summer or maybe even in January. So I have hoped you like this video. Um, like and subscribe and comment below who do you think is the best signing of the window. Yo, peace. See ya. Bye.